Hey there guys, welcome back to the parts bin. Um, today we're going to be talking about oil drains and why they're awesome and why they suck. So oil drains, there's a very simple concept. You have a drain in your block here on your common rail blocks and your storm blocks you have two. On your older ISB blocks you have one in the front of the block and this is a fitting that goes in the block that you can drain your turbo oil to. This is a turbo oil drain, very simple. And so uh, when you make aftermarket kits, there's this, the stock stuff works very well, but if you make an aftermarket turbo kit, a compound kit, something you need to drain, uh, a lot of guys will use this. This is a, a, a fitting that has a dual O-ring, fits in, your, in the uh, location here, in the, the boss for this thing. And it's a dash 10 AN fitting on top. This is a very common thing in the marketplace. Uh, I'm not sure who made the first one, but I know uh, it's been copied by many different people. And I think they just copied the exact same dimensions because they all suck. Um, here's why. It's a beautiful piece, looks awesome. The thing is, if you start making some serious boost, you notice how easy that went in there? If you've ever tried to pull out your stock fitting that come and sit with this thing, it's a beast to get out, man. It's a real pain. This guy just slides in it like nothing. It's got the dual O-rings, but what happens is you start making some boost, you get a little bit of pressure, crankcase pressure, and this guy just tends to pop right on out. And so then you have all your turbo oil drain going here, just dumping all over your truck, dumping all down the track. I've done that before, it was really sad. And so it's just not a good solution. I mean, I have, I've taken this thing, I've, I've gooped up with RTV, stuck it in there. I've wired them in there with the pan bolts so it couldn't come out. It still moves a little bit and it seeps oil. I've just never had good luck with these and anything making a serious amount of boost. And so I wanted to make something better. And so this is what we came up with. So this is what we came up with. This is actually made out of steel and there's a reason for that. This thing, when you first get this, you're gonna think it doesn't fit, but it does. It's a much tighter fit. You have to kind of wiggle it. It's, I mean, you gotta get it like, like, a, like a piston pin. You gotta get it just straight as can be and it'll work its way in there. And now it's in there and the O-ring's seated, but it's, it's not in all the way. The reason is, is we put a little taper right here, a little taper, so you actually, we send it with this cool cap. And the reason we send this cap is so you can literally beat it into your block. So you put this guy on here, fish it into your block, and it takes a minute because it's very, very tight fit. And then, I mean, Tony, he, he used a mini, a mini sledge. You just, you, you tap it in there. There we go. So now with the tapered thread, it's seated all the way down there. And I'm, to get this out, I'm gonna have to get a, a little tool. It's not gonna come out by my hand. I just don't think it will. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get a little tool to pull that guy out of there. Which is great, that's what you want. It should not come out with a few PSI of pressure and dump oil over your whole truck, dump oil all over down the track. There's nothing worse than oiling down a track. Ask me how I know. It's happened before. So this is a very simple product that solves a problem that's bugged me for a long time. So no more RTV, no more wiring it in there, and uh, it's gonna work awesome for you. And plus with the cap, if you're not using your back drain, you just have one, you can just cap this off and you have a future drain ready to go. So anyway, this is a very simple product, nothing crazy, but if you're gonna build a compound setup or a custom turbo setup and you wanna do one of these type, one of these size fittings you've seen all over the place, a better option's right here. It's not going to pop out on you. Very simple. And that's this episode of The Parchment. Thanks. We'll see you soon.